In this video, we'll be learning about NS Mutable Array. NS Mutable Array is a subclass of NS Array, which means that it gets all the behavior of NS Array plus some. Just like our MBF dog class, NS Mutable Array is a class from which NS Mutable Array objects are made. By being mutable, NS Mutable Array means that after our array is created, we can dynamically add or remove objects from it. Well, why don't we always use NS Mutable Array? A lot of the time, we don't want our objects in our container to change. Think of NS Mutable Array as a series of boxes, each of which can hold one object. An array can be empty, for example, it can have no objects in it, or it can have thousands of objects in sequential order. It's worth noting that it can only hold objects and not primitives. Examples of primitives that we've learned about have been integers, bools, and floats. It's also important to note that generally we don't add empty slots in an array. If there are three objects in your array, then it must take up the first three slots. The array cannot be any longer. The first object in our array is said to be at index 0. Why is the first object in our array at index 0? Well, computer scientists use a system called zero-based numbering, in which the first counting number is 0 and not 1. A long time ago, for many mathematical reasons, computer scientists adopted this convention. If you're interested in reading about this, there'll be a link post in the wiki that offers a mathematically rigorous account for this phenomenon. Anyways, in our array, we can add and delete objects relatively simple with methods that are already defined. These methods include add object, which we've seen before, insert object at an index, and remove last object. There are additional ob methods that we can use to add or remove objects as well, and we'll learn about that in our next video when we take a look at the documentation together.